From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen, and this is my co-host and partner in crime, Joe Stapleton. Not partner in crime, Chris. Partner in binge-watching crime documentaries on Netflix. <laughs> and if you don't think Stephen Avery murdered the nut flush out of that lady, you're crazy. Are they paying us for this very natural plug? Not yet. Tonight, we pick things up once again from Seminole Hard Rock, where we're still playing 100-200 with a very erratic optional strap. Last time we saw Avi Friedman punt a stack on over to Sean Deeb, who then ran into Frank Casella. He's up almost 62,000, second in profit, but first in total chips is Doug Polk, who is announcing his candidacy for mayor of following me to the parking lot later town. Uh, I don't know about you, but I am ready to see some chips exchanged on the old felt market. Dissolve this screen and throw us to the gym. All right, you want to bet dinner on whether or not Doug Polk ends up over half a million or under half a million at the end of the night? As long as I get to pick the under. It's been a pretty fun time here at Seminole Hard Rock. A lot of entertaining play with these big stakes. It was scary. I was I was scared for Deeb. I was like, oh, he's. Sean like Deeb is raised with Jack Ten Hearts. How much is that? Twelve. Only because it's you, I'm calling. Shine calls with Ace Ten. Polk calls with Queen Seven. If Shine's interested, you're in trouble. He's tighter than my post Thanksgiving pants. How is it happening? Because it's dealer shuffled, right? I think it happens just when we're sweating. Like, hard. you need to, like, it has to. Pop is 10, 4, 6. Top pair for Shine and Sean. Shine, yeah. Sean. Sean, Shine. Is that where the chip is? Yeah. That's the RFID chip. This one's weird. You can only see it when the light hits it, like, the right They're way. all like that. Speaking of things and the light hits it, check out like the shine that. on shine. Seems like if you look at them hard enough and you rotate, that's Whoa, why stop, I picked this up earlier. He you. raised. Yes, he nice raise by shine. You guys call it. Sean got bluffed by shine last time. This time I find it unlikely he's going to fold anything reasonable. Yeah, it's got the light right, up can, there. can we just, yeah, can we right just there. play with marked cards? That's fine. <laughs> so there's a few cards we know. We just declare it and then you know if it's marked, it's maybe his head. <laughs> Shine's reaching for chips and he bets 5,000. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Deeb calls, I mean, just simply not you. believing what Shine is telling him. Oh. We'll do it after the hand, I guess. And the river's an eight of hearts, so yeah. Shine has like got the best hand. He just needs to get Deeb to fold to take down the pot. Or Deeb can just call, and he can take down an even bigger pot. <laughs> wow. Good oh. job. Alan Shine oh, went for counted. three streets of value with one pair, got paid on all of them, and it was good. Damn, the value. Whew. Could have got a lot more. Well, it helps. Technique. No, it helps. I mean, it, it can exhaust you when you're just like pushing so much weight off of you. Oh, I'm sure we could put somebody heavy enough on you oh, flat yes. on the ground to keep you from getting up. <laughs> that bet I'll take. Yes. I don't care what your technique is. We'll find somebody's <laughs> ass big enough to hold you down. Oh, it's so, so good. Sometimes it just comes down to Tonnage. The uh, first day I started the Taekwondo training uh, with Master Chang, who probably weighed, I don't know, 150 pounds when I weighed 310. Um, he was on all fours, and I just reached over and sort of flipped him, you know, up, and he looks up to me, he goes, I'm not even sure it would take a big guy. Sean Deeb has the upper body strength of a kitten. Like, he does have the upper straddle strength, like, though, of I a do, very I strong ox. And in about three seconds, I was on the ground and like tapping. Uh oh. I, he just like had me on the ground. I could not get him off, and you know, wow. yeah. But if he laid flat on the ground, what? and then you just laid on top of him. No. Deep considering what to do with his aces, trying to get as much money out of Polky as he can. No, 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 not a chance. I would have been flipped up, and he would. If he was laying on his stomach, Absolutely. prone, arms Absolutely. stretched out in front of him, and you were just laying flat across. At only two X, yeah. You know who would make mince me to these aces? Master Chang. <laughs> he retired, but. I don't know who he is. He's kind of like Kaiser Soze, but I'm scared of him. I did wrestling, yeah, for wow. two years. When I was in His wrestling name was the Blue Meanie. So you think, so you think yeah. someone double the weight just lying on top of a wrestler, that wrestler would be pinned. Flop is queen, three, someone five. A couple of diamonds there for Polk. Ace is still out in front, yeah. but that's a pretty well, that's good flop for Doug Polk. 39% chance of cracking aces. Right. But if you don't start in a hold and you don't know how to get into a, get out of being gotten into a hold, yeah. I think you have no shot. 
Yeah, but if you've got somebody down and you've got their arms Get Mr. Control. Chang in here right now. I have really almost no money to my name. But what I do have, I will take him against Frank in any hold Frank can come up with. All in. Doug Polk has put Sean Deeb all in. Yeah, I think Sean's gonna end up making this call. It's just way too likely that Doug's gonna have a draw. Some of the time he'll have just a queen. Some of the time he'll have a set, but honestly, I think a lot of the time when he does have a set, he's gonna end up not giving Sean such a good reason to try to get away from this. He's got queens. I wish, I wish I had one queen. I think just most of the time it's gonna be some kind of big draw or a combo draw. But he's got two. He's gonna have to call it off with aces. It's what one you wanna see, it's not a queen. Well, I mean, if you... You oh, can see one. Oh, you're still. I'm. I'm not folding. Okay. Right. Well, okay. Oh, so he's got aces. <laughs> <laughs> Deduction. All right. Well, how many times do you want to go? Twice. Twice it is. What do you have? I have jack ten suited. So we're gonna run two oh, boards. Also not very good the card. winner of each board will get half the pot. One half is going to Sean Deeb at least. No, they really haven't. And two halves is going to Sean Deeb. How about that? Does that mean the whole thing's going to Sean Deeb? That is correct. Okay. Brilliant. Your ace is Do the not game. try to draw a flush against this man today. Is it just me or Sean Deeb been involved in nearly every single hand for several episodes now? No, it's not just you, it's Sean Deeb. He's great for this game. He's great for TV and the 2018 WSOP Player of the Year. Year of the Greed. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to the Seminole Hard Rock where Kane Callis has put out a double straddle to 800. I'm, I'm not invested in any of them, but Seth has told me that he likes them. Oh, no, no, I don't invest in cryptocurrency. Uh, I've just heard point? it's great. It's like me talking about books. I haven't read any of these, but they come highly recommended. Point, I believe, is like Zcash mm -hmm. with the microtransactions, and the store is, just has better anonymity. Yeah. You got another one on the corner. All right, so Polk raises the double straddle to 3,200 after Shine limps in with Ace-10 suited. Shine pre-flop doesn't play real strong, does he? No, he sure doesn't. He likes to see a cheap flop. Yeah, I see. To be honest, I don't hate the strategy. Casella's gonna make it 2,800, so if Shine wants to continue to play, he's gotta put more in. That he does. Get your Shine box, Alan. Get your Shine box. It's just three ways to the flop. It's nine, ace, 10. Another set for Frank Casella? You mean Frank Cassetta, right? Oh, and is this the fifth time when it finally became funny? I think we're only at four. Ooh. Did you a little something for everybody here, there? though. Gut shots in the nuts for Doug. Top two for Shine. Not on any and obviously the best hand, three nines for Frank Casella. Also, don't let that random card out there fool you. We're going to get rid of that one. Might have a mark on it. All in. Call. All in and a call. Do you want to do one or two times? One time. One time? I just have a set. And oh, Shine oh, does not manage to boat up. You gonna recover, right? Yeah. Brick, brick, ship it to Cassetta. The board was pretty dry. Frank's gonna have a set there quite often. Oh. And it looks like Shine's grabbing for more chips, so he doesn't want to leave. He's tight, but he's not. Looks like we got a double straddle again. Shine, he's in the mix. Gonna try to win back what he lost on that last hand. Wait, wait, wait. Do we have the eight on? 800. The eight's still on. This is the last hand of eight. This is the last of eight? Okay. Yeah, last eight. Until the next round. Oh, right before Doug. What a coincidence. Thank you for stepping up and yeah, protecting me from getting just, completely we, wrecked on the 800 straddle. Eight, yeah, exactly. Eight nine for Doug Polk. 800 out, and it's like, oh, we're not doing it right. Hopping in the pool <laughs> for 2,500. Under the muck. Ooh, nothing doing here. Oh, that'll work. Ace queen for Kane Callis. I haven't seen much of his mug tonight on Poker Night in America. Looks like he's gonna flat call and not re-race. It's a lower variance play, I like it. 
And that is a super flop for Doug. In all honesty, the swing. Folks got himself a top pair. Gutter ball. They seem absolutely wild. There's the gut shot on the turn. I, I Gee whiz. And Cal is drawing four. dead. I Let's see if he's going to bet here. He hit four lows and I had oh, here he comes. Callus is betting 3,200. And when Kane doesn't re-raise pre-flop, Doug can be pretty confident he's going to have overcards here a lot of the time. He's going to have some pairs. Very rarely tens are better. The only pair he's really worried about Kane having here is eights. And Doug's got a blocker for that. Now Doug's got to be a little bit worried about being up against the full house. But again, he's got a blocker for nines. It leaves sevens and sixes. It's not a whole lot of hands that are beating Doug. So for Kane's case, I hope he does not try to rep a hand here. Kane Callis is about to make the right play in the wrong situation here. Or is it the wrong play in the right situation? Either one. Either way, he's going to lose about a 30K pot. Nice try, Kane Callis. It's tough to get a guy to lay down a straight. I guess he really is the alpha Doug. On oh, Doug Polk is pushing close to that half million mark. Get me that free dinner off of Joe Stapleton. Oh my God, yeah, he's contagious. I feel like we've been playing poker for three days straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of us have. The great part is uh, after day two, we decided to play poker until 5 a.m. going into the early day. Yeah. That was smart. I offered Matt 5,000 if he could get you guys to play till noon. Casella oh. raises the 1,200 with King Queen. I would have happily. Right, right <laughs> I actually want to show him. Looks like Kane Callis is going to three bet this time. Oh, look at that. 3,800 from Kane. Don't show him that one. This way you don't let in a bunch of other hands for cheap. And it's going to be heads up to this flop. Domination Nation in favor of Callis. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and I like looked at I was like, you know, I'm joking. I wouldn't do that, even though I'm pretty sure it would be uh, yeah. beneficial. Where are you hiding? Flop. Oh, hello. Flop is queen, deuce six. Can Callis is just getting worked by the deck today. Frank Casella, pair is his only live card. Now an 88% favorite. Frank's got him right where he wants him. Top pair on a very not scary board. 44. Very happy to have Kane bet into him here. Quick call, a top pair, excellent kicker. Yeah, King Callis has been getting himself into a lot of trouble here, but you know, he's trying. <laughs> He knows he probably doesn't have the best hand, but you know how you can win without that? Betting. Well, let's see if Kane bets again. When Frank calls so quickly on such a dry board, I feel like Kane might actually slow up here. That he does. We go check, check on the turn. Now the river. It's another queen. And given that Kane checked the turn, Frank's almost certainly gonna bet here for value. I'm not gonna mess around and watch Kane check behind him and lose a couple thousand. Correct. 13.5, the number from Casella. 13.5. Looks like 13,500. Kane does have ace high on a queen, queen, deuce, deuce board, which is gonna chop for the best hand fairly regularly. Good fold. Frank Casella is on a real heat check. I'm not familiar with the exact origin of that reference, but I will look it up on the break. Welcome back to Poker Night in America and our high stakes table where Frank Casella has got the hot hands. So I looked up heat check. It's mostly a basketball term describing a difficult shot attempt when you've made a bunch of baskets in a row. Cool. You were a professional poker player when Rounders came out? No. I think so. No. no. He was like, no. Oh, I thought it was like 96. 98. 98, yeah. yeah. Like uh, 98. Then I was a pro by then. You were a pro by 98? No way. There's no, no chance no Sean no Deeb was a professional yeah, poker player when Rounders world. came out. He was like 17, like I was. Yeah, that's, you saw yeah, it like yeah. when you were young. Because at some point, someone's like, like, you know, says something about Rounders, and you're like, oh, I haven't seen that. You haven't seen it, and then you're going to have to see Rounders, you know? But you say, they say the same thing about Game of Thrones, and you don't do that. So what's the difference? There's a difference. Uh, Game of Thrones is literally 70 hours long. And it's the worst television show ever made. <laughs> You're right. 
you do a better Chewbacca. Go ahead. Uh, Go we're ahead. gonna get letters. I don't do a good job now. Is that like a CBS Sports oh, thing? Do you have to say that? Or? <laughs> What's wrong no, with you? That's a, I just don't get that show thing. Too much sex and violence for Chris Hansen, everybody. They could stuff you into a monkey suit and put a ammo belt around your ass and you'd be good to go. I think the reason why I don't like Game of Thrones is because initially, years ago, when it came out, I was told it was supposed to be Medieval Sopranos. And it's very much not Medieval Sopranos. Yeah, it's kind of Medieval Sopranos. There were no dragons on The Sopranos. I, I would say that. <laughs> OK, Chris. Anyway. I gave it six episodes and quit. Wow. Sean was all about the wrestling match and then kind of backpedaled right out of it. I usually do that well, when someone says, I've been out he's taken professional. And I will wear my gi that I already <laughs> own. That's usually a good reason to back down. You don't want to wrestle I mean, he was a little bit too forthcoming with the information too quickly. Like, yeah. you should have booked the bet. Don't and bet with money. a couple of backdoor draws, one of which is developing yeah, here on the turn. Friedman like called top pair, really top kicker, which is now top two pair. Still waiting to hear this Avi Friedman Chewbacca impression. Maybe if he wins this one, we'll finally get it. Hulk's betting 10-5. If I'm Friedman, I'm going to be real tempted to raise here. Let him be. He did do it quickly. I'll give him credit. You know? He laughed along with everybody. He raised the 26,000. Now, here's the problem with raising, and maybe I, maybe I should have mentioned this before. People who fold draws, uh, you're purely pushing your edge. So you are making a bigger pot. 76% of the time, you're going to win that bigger pot, although 24% of the time, you are going to lose a significant pot as well. Oh, and by the way, uh, Polk's got just shy of half a million sitting in front of him, so 15,000 more isn't going to scare him off. And the statistics, much like the force, are with Avi Friedman this time. <laughs> Dogs missed everything. Brick City, ship it to Kashyyyk. That's uh, Chewbacca's home planet. What happened? Is there a showdown? Hey, come on. You know what you got to do. Do it. 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 Okay. The impression is good, but Chewbacca would never say that. That's strong. That's strong. He's going to play so tight in the last three hands. All right, we are quickly running out of time here at Seminole Hard Rock. Avi's already left. I mean, he's done. So we're down to uh, five players. Back to the spice mines of Kessel for him. Hey, look, Burger is going to play a pot. Look at this guy. And it's been so long since he played one, I don't remember his first name. Burger. I've been waiting to make this observation when he actually got into a hand. He looks a little bit like a poor man's Colin Kaepernick. Mm, he looks like the guy from Prison Break. Ooh, yeah, what is that guy's name? I, I just thought it was called the guy from Prison Break. Family pot here. It's a lot like my family, except my dad isn't making me cry on a baseball field. Why did you make an error on the bottom of the third, Joe? <laughs> we practiced that in the backyard, Joe. I'm sorry, Dad. Flop is five, king, jack. I think that helps somebody. I, there's so many cards out here. Pair for shine, pair for deep, up and down for burger, pair for callus. Up and down now for Casella. The best hand still belongs to Sean Deeb with second pair. And it's shine betting. Burger makes it 3,000. I was really hoping he'd make it 2,500 so I could say burger is a quarter pounder, but. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> Sean Deeb with the best hand. Calls the 3,000. Casella will do the same, open-ended. Just close. It was like, Shine steps away. He's always taking like one, maybe two, maybe three people. Other than that, though. Yeah, I don't think I was the winner. What is it? Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Another jack on the river. So Sean Deeb calls with not even top pair and no draw, and he's right, and he improves on the river. And Frank Casella's open ender, that is my life. Start with an open ender, end with a pair, every time.
Deeb's gonna bet, and this is gonna go fold, fold. Can we speed this up? Let's go, guys. I got somewhere I gotta be. I'm just kidding, I just don't wanna be here. <laughs> Frank knows it well. There's the bet, there's the fold, that was fold. exactly what I was thinking. All right, everybody, go to bed. Exactly. Even though I know yeah. you won't. Yeah. You all know you're really? gonna stay up all night playing a different totally poker game. It is time for one more brief commercial break. We'll be back before you can say if you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, where we are wrapping things up for this lineup and for the table. Five of our seven players finish in the hole, led by Avi Friedman, down 45,000, followed by Alan Shine, down 35. Eric Berger, Kane Callis, and Doug Polk all lost similar amounts to each other, around 25 dimes. In the end, we saw only two players escape the gauntlet with a profit. Sean Deeb walks away with nearly 42,000 for keeps, and cool dad Frank Casella up 119,000. Well done, Frank. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen, and for everyone here at Poker Night in America, thanks for watching. Hey, hey, you know, you watching this video, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm trapped in here, inside the computer. So do me a favor, watch another one of our videos, but then after that, get me out of here. Also then hit like and subscribe, please. And then get me out again. Ha <laughs> ha!